understand deep vein thrombosis, you first need to understand what veins are. Veins are the blood vessels that bring blood from the body back to the heart. Blood flows very slowly in those veins. You can imagine curdled milk. If you let milk just sit, it forms a crust. The same thing with blood. If it just stands there and flows very slowly, it develops a clot in it. It just congeals. Besides that the clot actually forms in the leg or the arm and ha can have significant issues there, there's also a very major risk of pieces of that clot breaking off and flowing downstream into the heart and then through the heart into the pulmonary arteries, which is what we call pulmonary embolism. And that can be a life-threatening situation. The major symptoms from deep vein thrombosis start with uh, localized pain, which can be in the lower back or hip if it's in the lower extremities. Obviously, the entire leg can be affected. It all depends on the location of the clot. Then we get swelling, redness, the skin gets taut as the leg swells. Uh, at some point, the pain is too bad, you can't, even, you can't even walk or stand or put weight on the leg. We have devices that suck out clot. We have devices, including medications, that melt the clot. Usually we use catheters and wires that are about the size of a wet spaghetti noodle to go within the vessels and help us reach everywhere we need to reach and treat those vessels. Sometimes if the vessel is small or tight, what we call a stenosis, we use balloons inside the vessel to open it up. And if we see that that stenosis or that narrowing is really reluctant to be treated with a balloon, we can put a scaffolding inside or a stent. The outcomes of these procedures are pretty good, but they do vary. The fresher the clot, the better the outcome is. If the clot is very, very fresh, most patients, I'd say about 80%, retain completely normal um, use of their limb and, and feel to their limb just before they had the clot. The longer they wait, the, long, the more symptoms they might have down the road. At Christiana Care, we have over 20 years of experience treating DVT, especially including other partners in the healthcare team, which includes the primary care physician, hematologists, and whoever needs to be included to give the patient complete care from all aspects of the disease, including rehabilitation if he needs it, physical therapy, occupational therapy. So no stone is left unturned in trying to get the patient back on their feet as fast as possible. Mm -hmm.